time for art. Let's go and create. But on the way, I'm going to get myself an ice cream cone because I love ice cream. Yum, delicious. Look how tall it is. I can't wait to eat it. It's... Oh, no. <laughs> I dropped my ice cream. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, what can I do to make myself feel better? Well, I can draw some ice creams. That will make me feel better. Let's draw ice cream cones together. Let's have fun drawing ice cream cones together. This is what we did during art class this last week. And I wanted to give you some videos that can support the lesson that we did together. So for example, if you weren't there or you had to leave early, or you loved it so much and you want to do more of it, then you can watch these videos and you can pause them anytime and look more in detail and get ideas from my lesson. Please feel free to use your own imagination and I encourage you to use your own ideas in this drawing. I am going to go over it step by step and I do want you to focus on scale shading and background let's draw two upside down v's and connect them at the very bottom with a curvy line next we will draw the ice cream itself and i'm using a curvy line creating it it looks like a cloud attached to my ice cream cone i'm drawing details and i want my ice cream cones to be waffle cones Therefore, I'm making a curvy line going all the way up to the tip. And then I'm going to add diagonal lines going across to create that kind of texture and pattern that you see on a waffle cone. By adding a horizon line, I'm creating more depth in my drawing. And it's going to help my ice cream cones look more three-dimensional. I am drawing myself big because I am big in comparison to the ice cream cones. I'm adding details. So whatever you want to put in the background, go for it. You may have a completely different idea than mine and I encourage you to use your own idea. If you like my idea, please feel free to use it. But you should always know that trust your own imagination and if you have an idea, you should use it. Now, what can I do next? See, I added shadows under my ice cream cones to create the feeling of them sitting down heavily on a surface. And now I'm gonna decide where the light source is gonna come from. So I am pretending that the sun is shining on these cones on their right side in this video. So the right side is going to be lighter and then the middle of the cone is going to be medium, orange, and then the very left side of the cone, I'm going to make it brown. By doing this gradually, I'm going to create a cone that feels more 3D. I'm also adding colors to all the other details, deciding what kind of ice cream it is and what colors I want to use for my background. So carefully notice the ice cream cones right now. So it's a little darker on the left side and leaving it a little lighter on the right side. Green pants. And I think that I'm standing on the sidewalk. <clears throat> I have orange shoes. And I'm just really listening to my own imagination and my memory. I think I'm almost done. I really like it. And guess who I'm going to thank for this wonderful idea? Wayne Teabod. Wayne Teabod is turning 100 in November and he's famous for all his beautiful paintings of desserts. Happy, happy birthday to you, Wayne. Have a fabulous birthday.